friends, welcome to our module number 12. In this video, you will learn how to enumerate the steps for multiplication and division of decimal numbers, multiply and divide decimal numbers, and solve real-life problems involving multiplication and division of decimal numbers. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Blank is the repeated addition. A. Division B. Multiplication C. Subtraction D. Total The correct answer is B. Multiplication 2. What is the product of 3 and 14 hundredths and 2 and 5 tenths. A. 7 and 5 tenths. B. 7 and 65 hundredths. C. 7 and 75 hundredths. Or D. 7 and 85 hundredths. The answer is D. 7 and 85 hundredths. 3. The cost of a dozen of lemon is 306 pesos. How much does a piece of lemon cost? A. 25 pesos B. 25 pesos and 25 centavos C. 25 pesos and 50 centavos Or D. 25 pesos and 75 centavos The correct answer is C. 25 pesos and 50 centavos. Number 4. The cost of a slice of a mango bravo cake is 169 pesos and 95 centavos. If Mary will buy two slices, how much will she pay? A. 328 pesos and 90 centavos. B. 329 pesos and 90 centavos. C. 338 pesos and 90 centavos D. 339 pesos and 90 centavos The correct answer is D. 339 pesos and 90 centavos Last question If 78 and 75 hundredths is divided by 3 then the quotient is blank. A. 23 and 25 hundredths. B. 24 and 25 hundredths. C. 25 and 25 hundredths. D. 26 and 25 hundredths. The correct answer is D. 26 and 25 hundredths. Have a recap. Write the correct answer on the line provided to make the statement true. The sum of 0 and 12 thousandths plus 2 and 134 thousandths plus 1 and 2 tenths is blank. 2. The difference of 25 and 795 thousandths and 2 and 675 thousandths is blank. 3. If 16 and 254 thousandths plus n is equal to 18 and 79 hundredths, then n is equal to blank. Simplify. 18 and 997 thousandths Minus the quantity of 1 and 246 thousandths plus 5 and 789 thousandths is equal to n. The value of n is blank. Number 5. If the sum of 18 and 75 hundredths and 5 and 752 thousandths will be subtracted from the sum of 19 and 886 thousandths, and 10 and 758 thousandths, the difference will be black. Ronnie works at Pasig City Hall. During enhanced community quarantine, 
skeletal working scheme was implemented. Using his motorcycle, he goes to work every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. He drives 16.4 kilometers from his house to Pasig City Hall, back and forth. How many kilometers does he drive every week? If he has a consumption of 204 pesos and 18 centavos worth of gasoline per week, how much is his gasoline consumption per kilometer? First, we have to solve for the number of kilometers Ronnie has to drive in 3 days. So we have the number sentence 16 and 4 tenths times 3 is equal to n. Step 1. Line up the decimals in vertical order. It is not necessary that the decimal points are aligned. Multiply each digit of the factors starting from the rightmost digit just like whole numbers. So 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So bring down 2, carry 1 to the next place value to the left. 6 times 3 is equal to 18 plus 1. That is 19. Bring down 9 and carry 1 to the next place value. 1 times 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Count the number of decimal places in both factors. Put the decimal point in the product. Since the number of decimal places is 1, count 1 from rightmost digit to the left and place the decimal point. So therefore, Ronnie drove 49 and 2 tenths in kilometers for 3 days. Since we already have the total number of kilometers Ronnie drove, we can now solve for the price of gasoline per kilometer using the number sentence 204 and 18 hundredths divided by 49 and 2 tenths is equal to n using the following steps. Number 1. Write the decimals in long division symbol. So 204 and 18 hundredths divided by 49 and 2 tenths. Step 2. Make the divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right. Move the decimal point of the dividend the same number of places as the divisor. Place a decimal point in the quotient above the decimal point. Divide as you divide whole numbers. Add zeros if needed to complete the division. So 2041 divided by 492 is... 4.5 4 times 492 is 1968 Proceed to subtraction 2041 minus 1968 is equal to 73 Next, put down the 8. The 738 divided by 492 is 1.5. 1 times 492 is 492. And you have 738 minus 492 is 246. You can place zeros after each number. Bring down 0, 2460 divided by 492 will give you 5. So 5 times 492 is equal to 2460. 2460 Minus 2,460 is equal to 0. Therefore, 
The cost of gasoline per kilometer is 4 pesos and 15 centavos. Let's have some examples. 1 and 75 hundredths times 2. So 5 times 2, that's 10. Bring down 0, carry 1 to the next place value. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1, plus 15, bring down 5, carry 1 to the next place value. Then 1 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Count the number of decimal places, 2. So therefore, the answer is 3 and 50 hundreds. Next, do this on your own. 12 and 25 hundreds times 0 and 15 hundreds. So just like what we did a while ago, Add the resulting products, 5, 2 plus 5 is 7, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 6 plus 2 is 8. Then bring down 1. Therefore, the answer is 1.8375. Let's add the division. 4 and 50 hundreds divided by 3. So using the long division, five divided by three is equal to one and fifty hundred. Do this on your own. Therefore, 12 and 388 thousands divided by 6 and 52 hundredths is equal to 1 and 9 tenths. Let's have a wrap up. Always remember that these are the steps in multiplying decimal numbers. First, line up the decimals in vertical order. It is not necessary that the decimal points are aligned. Number 2. Multiply each digit of the factors starting from the rightmost digit, just like whole numbers. And number 3. Count the number of decimal places in both factors, then put the decimal point in the product. And these are the steps in dividing decimal numbers. Write the decimals in long division symbol. Make the divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right, and move the decimal point of the dividend the same number of the places as the divisor. Place a decimal point in the quotient above the decimal point in the dividend. Divide as you divide whole numbers. Add zeros if needed to complete the division. For our valuing, multiplying and dividing decimal numbers follow certain rules especially in counting and moving of decimal point while doing the process. Rules are important not only in this subject, but also in real life. In an Oslo paper, write a slogan 
or a saying about the rule that you follow as a student. For your differentiated activities, kindly refer to the given module. Let's have a post-test. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on the space provided before each number. I hope you learned something today. Goodbye and God bless us all.